Well, welcome back. You're going to take a live look here at the welcome party in the nation's capital for Donald Trump and his family. The president-elect expected to speak any time now. Right now, the U.S. Army's Pershing's own band is performing some live music. And now, here. joined by his they dance They just finished up, in fact, box. playing a march. But on Capitol Andy Hill, draws. two more confirmation hearings today for Donald Trump's cabinet nominees. Former Texas Governor Rick Perry says he now regrets recommending the elimination of the Department of Energy when he ran for president in 2011. Speaking before the Senate Energy Committee, Perry said that being briefed on so many of the vital functions of the department, he regrets his earlier recommendation. If confirmed, I will enter this role excited and passionate about advocating and advancing the core missions of the DOE, drawing greater attention to the vital role played by the agency and the hardworking men and women who dedicate themselves in pursuit of these missions. Also testifying today, Mr. Trump's pick to lead the Treasury Department, Steve Mnuchin, is defending his handling of thousands of foreclosures during the height of the financial crisis. The Senate hopes to vote to confirm three nominees, Homeland Security, Defense, and CIA, by Monday. The no-growth movement in Venice may be getting what it wants. The new Venice Comprehensive Plan limits the amount of new residential construction that can be built within the city. The current plan allows for over 50,000 homes. The new plan would put that cap at around 30,000. This change is in response to a large outcry from locals who told the city what they wanted. It's really just into the what was what was the maximum build-out potential that was allocated in the current plan versus the, the proposed plan. There was not an intent to be restrictive. It was to just make it uh, logical and meaningful. The public will have three more chances to speak to city officials on the matter before the final city council vote. A Sarasota contractor is helping homeowners take a step into the future and off the grid by installing Tesla's Powerwall. It's a solar battery solving one of the industry's biggest problems. C7's Adam Cellini joins us live with more on how it's helping people protect their wallets and the environment. Adam? Yes, yeah, Scott, I'm here at Brilliant Harvest in Sarasota, and as you can see, Brilliant Harvest and Tesla side by side, they are the only certified retailer and installer of this technology here in the region, and they say it's really rekindling people's interest in solar energy. The electric bill is at least half. Rotrout box staller and her husband are living in their second solar assisted home near Siesta Key. It's efficient during the day, but like all solar users, their panels can't cut costs at night. If the sun doesn't shine, then we don't produce energy. Boxstaller is committed to reducing her carbon footprint, but must also care for an ailing husband who is dependent on a reliable power source. At night, when he gets up, he has to have a light. Lucky for her, innovator Elon Musk and his company Tesla took this problem on and came up with the Powerwall, the first product ever to store solar energy. This is probably the single biggest breakthrough that, that we've been involved with. Bill Johnson and his company Brilliant Harvest installed Box Dollars unit for a total cost of $8,500. It can't power the whole house, but it does back up certain circuits like her lights, kitchen, and laundry room. From a computer, she can watch the battery offset her daily power usage while also charging itself as a renewable backup generator. The solar array you know, there's no maintenance on it. it. It runs every day and actually offsets the cost of that system up front. The cost of solar is another obstacle. One box dollar admits is still difficult to manage, but it's easier if you put it into perspective. It takes a few years until you have paid it off. But if you think of electricity going up in price, then that time will shrink. Now, Brilliant Harvest has installed five of these power walls locally, and Tesla will soon be releasing its Powerwall 2.0, which uh, Brilliant Harvest tells us will may have double the storage capacity of its predecessor. In Sarasota, uh, live in Sarasota, Adam Cellini, Scott, back to you in the studio. All right, Adam, pretty cool technology right there. And, of course, we had some sunshine today to power those panels. Here's Bob with more. That's right, Scott, and the sun getting ready to set and 93 million miles away from us right now and uh, starting to peer through some of the clouds that moved on in. And it looks like we're going to see a gorgeous sunset once again and light those clouds up uh, once it gets below the horizon there. 71 degrees. Currently, we have some clouds around and the dew point temperature at 62. Winds out of the south-southwest at 10. The pressure, 30 one 
That is now starting to slide down as this little area of low pressure starts to erode that area of high pressure as it exits off into the Atlantic. This frontal boundary is not the front that's going to bring us big changes. Uh, that's uh, still a uh, ways off. It's going to be developing over the weekend, but some pretty big storms. This gives you an indication. We have some strong upper level winds uh, from the subtropical jet stream right over this frontal boundary, which is creating a vacuum, if you will, kind of sucking all the air up and causing these bigger storms to uh, develop right now off the coast of Louisiana and stretching on into Mississippi right now. All this moving to the east, it will miss us as far as the rain goes. It'll stay well to our north uh, for the next 24 hours. Temperatures right now into the uh, low 70s to mid 70s, expected to be into the mid 60s by 11 o'clock tonight. Should be nice. Some fog forming late tonight. And as far as the uh, watches and warnings go, nothing to report right now, but want to give you a heads up. We may see some of this uh, come into play on Sunday, specifically Sunday afternoon late. And throughout the evening, a watch indicates there's a possibility, while as a warning means it's happening or is about to happen in your particular neck of the woods. So hopefully you won't have to deal with that, but just giving you a heads up right now, Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. New developments tonight involving the man accused of killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend and a police officer in Orlando. Markeith Lloyd appearing in a courtroom for the first time today, still wearing bandages on his face. He's charged with two counts of murder, attempted murder, and aggravated assault. Police say Lloyd shot and killed his girlfriend on December 13th. Her unborn child also died. They say Lloyd then killed Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton after she approached him outside of a Walmart on January 9th. Lloyd became the focus of a massive manhunt and was finally captured in an abandoned home on Tuesday. Today, Lloyd told the judge in an expletive-laced outburst that the whole story was not being told and that he plans to represent himself. Do you plan to hire your own attorney? I'm um, defending myself. You're going to defend yourself pro se. Judge ordered Lloyd to be held without bond. Jury selection is set to begin for a man accused of conspiring to detonate a bomb at a Florida Keys beach in solidarity with the Islamic State militant group. Starting tomorrow, jurors will be questioned in Key West Federal Court for the trial of 25 year old Harlem Suarez. The FBI says Suarez told an informant he wanted to detonate a backpack bomb on a Key West beach. He was arrested in 2015 after accepting a fake bomb from an FBI employee posing as an extremist. Prosecutors say Suarez drew inspiration from the Islamic State for his alleged plot. U.S. safety regulators close an investigation into a fatal crash involving Tesla Motors autopilot system without seeking a recall. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says Tesla will not be fined, but the agency criticized the electric car maker for calling the semi-autonomous driving feature autopilot. Administration officials say advanced automated driving systems still require continual and full attention of a driver who should be prepared to take action. The investigation followed a May crash here in Florida. The driver of a Tesla Model S was killed when the autopilot system failed to spot a tractor trailer crossing the car's path. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, prices going up at the post office. How much more the forever stamp will soon cost you? That story just ahead. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help with Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Thinking about having surgery can be a scary thing. You know, take somebody who's in severe pain, bring them in, take good care of them, and then get them out and back to their life is huge. We focus on minimally invasive approaches when possible, and oftentimes people can be back up on their feet in a day or two with a whole lot less pain than before surgery. We fix people's lives. We do. 
It may be January, but we live in Florida. So head outdoors for seafood and music at the second annual Sarasota Seafood and Music Festival, happening Saturday and Sunday, January 21st and 22nd from 10 to 6 p.m. Save your mouth watering Florida Gulf Coast seafood dishes by top restaurants and chefs while you enjoy great live music from some of Florida's top musical groups. So grab your family and friends at the Sarasota Seafood and Music Festival, January 21st and 22nd. For more information, visit seafoodfestivals.com. Florida's last private island is a waterfront lifestyle like no other. This is Harbor Isle, just five minutes from the sugar sand beaches of Anna Maria Island. This sun-splashed paradise invites you to enjoy natural adventures and all the recreation of a tropical resort. Island coach homes and waterfront condos are now available from the high 400s. Don't miss the Luxury by the Bay event, Saturday, January 21st from noon till 4 p.m. at Harbor Isle. Water ski show, luxury cars, wine tasting, model home tours, and more. Come out to the best party of the season, the Goodwill Mardi Gras Gala on February 28th at Michael's on Eat. Tickets at experiencegoodwill.org. Get the new year off to a great start with safety and peace of mind. Subaru was named the 2016 Best Overall Brand, Most Trusted, and Best Performance Brand by Kelly Blue Book. And ALG named Subaru its top mainstream brand for residual value for 2016. Now you can lease a new Subaru Outback for just $2.29 a month or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Wasn't that long ago when the only option for a leaky heart valve was major surgery. ABC 7's Alex Redmond joins us with new advances and minimally invasive options in heart valve replacement and repair. This heart valve has 30 years of data to back it up. It takes 15 valve sutures to go in here, and it takes time to put this valve in. Now there's the Intuity Elite valve. What this valve does is it allows us to implant them faster and save uh, time on the heart-lung machine. Cardiac surgeon Dr. Jonathan Hofberger says patients should explore options. The new valve and our other valve technology that we have here at Sarasota Memorial gives the patients an opportunity to have a less invasive operation. So instead of having their sternum divided, opened, and have a 12-inch incision on the front of them, we're able to do incisions from the side. Marathon runner Charlie Ann Cypret was training when symptoms hit her. Overwhelming fatigue, the, uh, fatigue like I had never experienced before. Cypret says a sinus infection turned to pneumonia. What I now know is that pneumonia is, is, can be a symptom of, of cardiac problems for women. Fatigue then turned to exhaustion and Cypret had an electrocardiogram. I received a phone call saying, you need open heart surgery and you need it now. Cypret's friends urged her to go to New York for surgery. I was told that I would most likely need a replacement. And if you do the research, you'll find the repair is preferred. Your life expectancy is longer. You don't have to spend the rest of your life on Coumadin or any other blood thinner. Dr. Hofberger successfully repaired Cypret's mitral valve. Yeah, Charlie Ann was a great patient. Uh, she bounced back uh, rather quickly. Not only does Dr. Hofberger do repairs, uh, that's his specialty, but he does it minimally invasive. So unlike most people where they cut you straight down the chest and your recovery is six months, I have zero scar. Dr. Hofberger adds that patients can go back to their normal everyday activity in just a couple of weeks following the surgery. He entered through my right side, my back, and I was home and walking within a few days. And I started running uh, probably about four to six weeks later. Reporting at Sarasota Memorial Hospital, Alex Redmond, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Alex, thank you. Let's get a check on our weather again with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob? Well, Scott, we talked about the sunshine earlier. It was around, plentiful, and uh, temperatures did manage to get into the upper 70s to low 80s. This is like in Sarasota Bay. Pretty nice there. Then you'll see these clouds on the increase in advance of a weak storm system that's not going to have a big impact on our weather in terms of rain, but uh, we're going to see a beautiful sunset tonight. Once again, these clouds will light up as the sun gets below the horizon there. We had some beautiful shots last night sent in from Norm Schimmel looking out over Sarasota Bay right there and by Golden Gate Point. And that was, uh, again, another shot from 
Selby Gardens. You don't have to really even mess with these pictures. They were so beautiful. People were responding to them, saying that looked like they were altered somehow or another in Photoshop. But they aren't, and they weren't. And this one, Damon Powers, and this one from Anna Maria. John getting this one from Anna Maria, looking out uh, off of the Anna Maria City Pier there uh, toward the west, obviously. And Fred getting that nice picture. A lot of cirrus clouds around yesterday. Well, more fog possible overnight. Now that's going to be an issue, especially inland areas, and it looks as though we could even see a little bit of sea fog forming. Severe storms on Sunday. Well, the uh, potential is there and put it that way. We're going to see thunderstorms definitely uh, Sunday afternoon and evening. There's a chance now at 30% that some of them could turn severe, which is fairly high. It's a uh, marginal right now, but fairly high considering what we we have had in the past when our severe weather threat was only at around 15% we still saw some rough storms and coastal flooding concerns over the weekend and that's the result of astronomical high tides on top of that we'll have this west to southwesterly wind flow which will just kind of force this water right into some of the area beaches so that'll be a concern too especially around high tide on Sunday and into Monday morning well no rain around here at this point things are quiet and dry and we'll stay that way although we could use a little bit of rainfall we're not going to see it from this first system which is going to stay mainly to our north it'll catch uh, north central Florida this is a little piece of energy, but a very progressive pattern right now, meaning that we're going to see these series of low pressures develop very quickly and move pretty quickly off to the northeast. This one will be gone by a Friday evening, and then another one will start to develop on Saturday off the coast of Texas and eventually sweep a cold front our way on uh, Sunday and Monday. 71 degrees right now. We have some clouds. A dew point 62 winds out of the south southwest at 10, and the pressure Although not as high as it has been, it's still a high pressure at 30.01 inches. The high today did manage to get to 77. As I mentioned, there were some 80s east of I-75. 85, the record set in 1937. This morning's low was 56, 4 degrees above the average, and no rainfall zip on that. And looks like uh, we will see the possibility of a half inch to an inch and a half of rainfall over most of the area. And that begins on, as I said, Sunday afternoon, continues until early Monday morning. 73 in Tallahassee, 76 in Jacksonville, 76 to 79, I should say, in Orlando and in Miami, as well as Avon Park, Wachula, a bit cooler right near the coast with that west to southwest wind. 71, Sarasota, Englewood at 71, Northport at 72, Bradenton at 71. The forecast tomorrow looks like this. High temperatures in the mid-70s. We'll have a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day uh, with the potential for just a little bit of morning fog around. Elsewhere across the U.S., some rain that will be in the offing for the nation's capital tomorrow, starting around midday. It shouldn't be a washout, but they will see some showers around, it looks like, by midday. A south winds at 10 knots. Seas will be right around 2 feet with a light chop out there. The water temperature is starting to warm up, 69 degrees, and the beaches will see a high near 75. Tides upcoming. High tide will be at 138, and then I'll, I should say a high tide at 138 in the morning for a low tide. A high tide at 705. Tomorrow morning, partly cloudy, 62 for your low. And then tomorrow, look for breezy and warm conditions. Highs in the mid-70s. The extended forecast does call for strong storms, possibly Sunday afternoon through Monday morning. Scott? All right, Bob, we'll watch for that. Thank you so much. In Suncoast Traffic Watch right now, no crashes in the area, but uh, traffic is backed up on US 41 in Sarasota near Fruitville Road, as well as on the Ringling Bridge. Look at the backup all the way to the circle as people try to get back to the mainland for the evening. After 32 years, Budweiser is saying goodbye to Team USA. Anheuser-Busch, which owns Budweiser, has decided not to re-up its partnership with the U.S. Olympic Committee. Bud has been a sponsor of the U.S. Olympic Committee since 1984. The news follows disappointing viewership of the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. NBC reported a ratings dip, particularly among 18 to 49-year-old viewers, which are key to advertisers. Get ready to pay more at the post office. The cost for a forever stamp will be going back to 49 cents as of Sunday. The price had dropped to 47 cents back in April when the Posted Postal Regulatory Commission ordered the U.S. Postal Service to drop its price for the first time in 97 years. But the post office says the lower stamp price has exacerbated its losses, so that price is going back up to 49 cents once again. Entertainment News is next. Stay with us.
You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything, but with Couch Coat, my couch is always protected, looking as good as it did the day I bought it. Get your Couch Coat for just $19.99, and it's reversible in brown and cream, like two Couch Coats for the price of one. Order right now, and you can double your offer. Get a second Couch Coat. Just pay a separate fee. Order right now. Call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat. Call now or go to couchcoat.com. So call 1-800-943-0710. That's 1-800-943-0710. Call now. Start the year off with a great deal during the Start Something New event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Ram trucks are built tough and have plenty of power to handle any job with all the comforts you'd expect in a luxury vehicle. And right now, all 2016 quad cabs are over 20% off with new Ram trucks starting at just $19,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Wouldn't it be great if you had a sofa covered in fabric that's kid-proof? Now you can! Introducing Kid Proof by Row. now at Bacon's Furniture. For a limited time only, save 40% off Kids Proof sofas at Bacon. Just look for the little green hand and select from hundreds of different fabrics that resist almost anything life throws at it. Some fabrics repel liquid, and all the amazing styles and comfortable fabrics are easy to clean. Kid Proof sofas, now 40% off at Bacon's Furniture in Sarasota. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Paul McCartney wants his Beatles songs back. The pop music legend has filed a lawsuit against Sony ATV Music Publishing. It's McCartney's latest move in a decades-long fight for the rights to a long list of Beatles hits he either wrote or co-wrote with John Lennon. The fight started after pop star Michael Jackson outbid McCartney in 1985, a deal that cost Jackson more than $41 million. Songs such as Yesterday and I Want to Hold Your Hand are subject to the suit. McCartney argues the 1976 Copyright Act should allow him to start reclaiming ownership of the songs next year. Sony declined to comment on the matter. A Grammy-winning singer hopes everyone will be okay with her performance for Donald Trump. Chrisette Michelle says she will take part in the inauguration festivities. Michelle won a Grammy in 2009 for her song, Be OK. She's expected to perform in an R&B set as part of Trump's Make America Great Again welcome concert tonight. She joins Toby Keith, Three Doors Down, and others slated for the event. And President Obama's farewell gift to some of his longtime staffers was a private concert from the boss. A senior White House official says Bruce Springsteen performed a two-hour acoustic concert last week for members of Obama's staff, mostly people who had served for all eight years of his presidency. President Obama presented Springsteen with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in November, and Springsteen appeared on the campaign trail for Hillary Clinton in the fall. Actor and director Woody Harrelson is looking to make history by shooting a movie in a single take and airing it all live. Lost in London is inspired by a night 15 years ago, which began with Harrelson leaving a nightclub. He then gets involved in a car chase and was arrested for damaging a London taxi cab. We got, we got 30 actors, we got 14 locations, we got four cars, you know, so we're getting in and out of vehicles and, you know, it's, it just seems, it's monumental. Shooting takes place between 2 and 4 a.m. London time, and it will be shown live at the Hollywood 20 Theater in Sarasota tonight, beginning at 9 o'clock.
Tickets are $20. And we're going to leave you now with a live look at the welcome party. It's happening right now in the nation's capital for Donald Trump and his family. Over the past hour, several live bands have been performing, and the president-elect is expected to speak sometime soon. Stay with us. More news ahead. Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com.